very very good view right now Let's see if I can get this a little bit lower to show you just for right now now if you look closely you'll actually see there's two different levels of color there's a dark bluish and there's like almost like a whiter now the white is almost like the color which is actually a blue hue so even though it looks white it actually isn't pure titanium white if you look at the deer that's white titanium white and if you look back at those dots behind the deer right here you'll notice that they have more blue tones even though some of them in there are bluish white over here they look white over there they look more blue and it's because they have the other contrast of the white from the deer so what we're going to do to add this speckled look is we're going to add some more we're going to add some more blue bluish white hue to the painting and that will give a speckled look it will give the look of sparkling snow from a distance paintings are always meant to be viewed at least three to five feet away from the original painting so what we're going to do is we're going to add more dots in between the dots that are already here now they don't have to be perfect remember I'm not going for perfection and what I'm going for is an illusion that you will see from a close-up now people say wow you're not really painting you're just sort of dotting right now very talented isn't it well it is because in the long run what you're going to see is a blending of all these dots which creates the illusion of packed on snow and that's what I'm going for today <laughs> so what I do is I go through and I just pack 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 lightly wherever I want wherever I think that it needs other color now the trick is you don't want to make too big of blotches or too big of blobs and you do want to do some really fine little points as well I'm not just going around and chucking around paint everywhere I'm actually doing small intricate little details as well as big thick details and the reason why you want thicker pieces or smudgery um, uh, dots in this particular piece is because then you can go over top of the bigger dots with smaller dots of a um, contrasting color so in other words a dark blue smudge can have a couple of lighter blue and then even lighter blue white hue color dots on top which will give it the impression that it has layering if you don't do this um, you will have a one dimensional piece and you won't you won't be able to allow yourself to grow the piece won't be allowed to, itself to grow as, as an art piece and you won't be able to grow as an artist as well a lot of the stuff that I do this is all self taught uh, I, see a, I see a vision, I see what I'd like to see and I change it throughout my paintings are always changing so what I first think I'm going to do usually ends up being um, close to the end result but not exactly and that's typical that's typical when it comes to to real art so right now I've just added all these different light pieces and just sporadically remember up close it's going to look like a bunch of little smidgely little lines <laughs> smidgely little dots but that's okay because the reality is is that is what it is I could spend time being completely perfect I could try to recreate exact perfect dots if I really wanted to but right now I'm not going to and the reason why is because in this particular piece it does not call for that This is the painting that has, that will have approximately 5,000 dots at the end. And the reason why is every time I layer a, a, a hue of white or top another hue of white, I'm actually adding probably about 60 to 70 dots per tree per little line of white, which means that if I go over top of that five times with five different hues of white, with the blue tint and what I'm actually doing is I'm doing five times seven per tree so that's 350 dots per 350 dots per um, per tree per limb 
and seeing how I have about I don't know 20 trees there that's quite a bit of uh, it's quite a bit of dots isn't it so what we're doing is we're just going to keep adding this now the one thing I'm going to do that's different from the background trees in order to make this deer pop it needs to be the brightest thing on the page which it is right now but I also want to make the other ones pop I want to make the foreground trees pop which I'll show you in a second basically the ones I want to pop the most are going to be these ones right here pop 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 mm. pop and pop so basically our overall overall here I would say that this is the most important for 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 foreground 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 these are all the background just to give a little bit of to draw your eye back these 